hi guys lena here welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can achieve two parts on your wig you can see this closure here already came with a middle part but i don't want to rock this wig as a middle part what i want is a c part so i'm going to show you how you can style or rather achieve a c part c pattern on your wig you can do this for a 4 by 4 closure wig you can do this for a 2 by 6 you can do this for a 2 by 4 you can do this for any size even your front house there's no um, limit to the size of closure you can achieve a c part on but for this video i'm doing this on a 6 by 6 closure wig so what i basically did to start was cutting out the c so you can see how i went from the front part of the closure and i went i turned into like a c pattern towards the end of the closure i don't know if you guys understand the hand movement it's almost like you're writing with the with the comb yeah it's like you're writing with the comb you just do like a c with the end of the comb so i clip that side away just to allow me walk more easily so what i'm going to do now is just to keep on perfecting the line and making sure everything is smooth once i'm sure i have the parts almost clean i'll use my hair wax to lay the flyaway hairs down just to have less inter interruptions from the short strands that are flying all over the place then i'll keep on trying to perfect the parts from using the end of the comb to just clean it out and make sure i have a clean area that i'm going to now start creating the part on basically how you create a part on a closure or a frontal is by plucking out the hairs on the area in which the pattern is by plucking out the hairs that lays on that area that you've lined out it helps that part become more pronounced so it now takes the form of that's how you style your wig to be as a c part you can see how this one looks now it's not it's not well pronounced it's not it just shows that okay there's a pattern but it's not defined so what i'm going to start doing now is pulling the hair out and you want to be very careful when you are doing this you want to pull the hair individually you can just to pull it with your hands or you can choose to use a tweezer and pull it maybe what you can do is just sort of wicking the hair at the at the end before you pull it out completely but you want to be very careful so you don't tear the lace in the process you don't want to tear the lace you don't want to rip the lace or overstretch it so be very careful with this process so you don't get the lace damaged while you're trying to beautify the wig so i'm gonna let you guys just watch the process it's very self-explanatory from just watching it you're going to understand what i'm trying to do it's just basically you pulling the hair on the on the parts to get it to be cleaner and you know more pronounced so don't forget if you enjoy this video and you get value out of it make sure you like it share it and please subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed thank you so much for watching keep on watching to the very end so you see the final turnout and um remember be bold have courage of a positive life i'ma catch you in my next video when you're done with this one i love you bye